my channel. Um, so today I'm going to be discussing uh, five things, well, five study tools that I found extremely helpful. Um, and I will link everything below. Some of them are free. Some of them are, are stuff that I've paid for. But uh, I think they were well worth the investment. I have spent money on things in the past that I ended up not using and um, regretted it. So it's always nice if you can do a trial and try things out first. But these are the things that I think um, I couldn't live without uh, even right now. So um, the first one is um, Anki. So Anki is a flashcard system um, that a lot of decks are already made. So um, uh, if you're studying for you know, the MCAT or uh, for step one or any other kind of board exam like that, you can probably find decks that are already made on Reddit. Uh, I found the Zonki deck online and I wish I would have started it sooner last year. Um, so I'll definitely leave a link for that. Otherwise, a lot of my classmates also liked the Quizlet and they use that, um, which is a free app as well, and you can share decks with your friends. So both of them are extremely useful. Um, I like the Anki deck because I have it on my phone, I have it on my computer, and it has a lot of flashcards that were already pre-made, which obviously helped me save time, so um, that's why I appreciate that one. Uh, the second thing is for anybody who's taking anatomy, uh, not that you need to buy a skeleton, I do have one, uh, but I got it before I even was applying to med school and it, and it just ended up coming in kind of handy. Um, but it would be the Human Anatomy Atlas program, and that's by Visible Body. So it's an app that you can purchase. I think it's $24.99. Um, you can get it on your Windows, Mac. Uh, and on your phones, and it's extremely helpful. All right, so you can pull it up. You can, um, if you can see the screen here, it's just really helpful. You can zoom in on stuff. You can rotate and just look around, and it is so, so detailed. Um, if you want to know, um, if you select a muscle, it can tell you information about it. Um, it can also show you its uh, attachments, things like that, and it also can show you motions, blood supply, nerve supply. So this was um, super helpful when I was studying uh, for anatomy, uh, and I didn't have time to go in and see the cadavers um, all the time, especially with um, having a family at home. So. That really, really helped me. I think I did extremely well in that class, and I would like to think it's partially because of that app. So um, the other nice thing about um, studying anatomy is if you have a kiddo that's always wondering what you're doing and kind of interested themselves, I found another app that was uh, for her, that I, that I use for her, where um, it's called The Human Body, and it's by Tiny Bop. You do have to pay for it, but um, when we got it, it was just like a single, single kind of paid, you know, one deal and you're done. But now they're charging a subscription of uh, ten dollars a year, I think. But it was it's really cool for her to be able to uh, kind of learn about the body at the same time as I am. So really great app for kids. And it kind of helped her learn as I was learning. And she felt like we were bonding while we were studying anatomy at the same time. So um, the third one that I found really helpful is Sketchy Micro. Now, obviously, this is if you're in a microbiology type class. But um, I'm sure you've heard about it before. I did end up getting their book, so Sketchy Micro. They do have... Um, videos that they do for not only Sketchy Micro, but for path, pathology and pharmacology. I haven't done those yet, but just to give you an idea of what they are, they have little cartoon videos that they do, um, and each one stands for something. Um, it kind of helps you remember like a certain bug that 
um, you know, is gram positive and if it's enveloped or not. And it kind of tells you about the symptoms based off of what's happening in the picture or in the video. So it's really, really helpful. Um, it saved me on my, on my last exam. Um, and I'm going to probably watch all of them at least once or twice more before um, taking my board exams. Now the fourth one, it seems kind of like a no-brainer, but I didn't know about it when I first started school. It's called OneNote, um, and I had just gotten a Surface Pro, and everybody was annotating on their PowerPoint lecture slides, and I finally realized it was this program that they were using. So OneNote is a program that you can use um, at least on Windows and Surface Pros. I know you can. I'm not sure uh, if it's the, so called something else for the Apple users, but uh, OneNote is great. You can literally print your PowerPoint slides into like a notebook and then you can uh, annotate right there. What's great about it is that it's extremely organized. Um, it syncs to an online folder that you set up so you can use it across multiple different computers if you have more than one. And um, the pictures, you can make the pictures, um, the text be searchable as well. So if you put a picture up there that has some words on it and you're searching for something, it will also pull anything that has an image that has whatever you're searching for on it as well, which is really nice. Um, so I do like that one a lot. And the fifth one is um, kind of another thing that's like in addition to everything else, it is the V. LC media player. So this is a program that's free to download onto your computer and what it is is a video playing software that allows you to easily speed up, slow down, fast forward, rewind, um, you know, play pause, everything with like quick keys on the keyboard. I oftentimes will watch videos on two times speed otherwise if I, it's a harder topic and I'm not familiar with it I might only um, speed it up like, you know, 1.2 X. So the speed there is really customizable and I appreciate that a lot. And then a bonus one uh, for any parents out there in school in general is um, the Bose uh, noise canceling headphones. I've had it probably a good five years now and they are like I, I never leave without them so you plug it in and you have to charge it separately but when you turn this on it helps so much especially when you have kids watching maybe a, a movie or something and you're trying to take a test or um, you know just trying to finish up your your stuff you're studying or or whatnot um, this is just such a great tool to have that really helps drown out the extra noise in the background and I study with it all the time. Um, I'll even, when I'm not watching a video, I'll even play like, you know, uh, study music on YouTube and I'll just use these to help cancel out any other noise going on at home. So that's all. All right. Thanks guys. Have a good day. Bye. Like and subscribe for more videos down below.